What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Dave Steals the Show. Today I want to talk to you about the Galaxy Note 8. If you have this phone and you're coming from an iPhone 7, there are a few things you can do to this phone to customize it, make it your own, and put in those little tweaks that you might have been missing from another phone. So you had an iPhone 7 and you were looking around for your next big phone. But Apple didn't exactly have any of the phones that you were interested in. You could get an iPhone 8 or 8 Plus, but with the batteries expanding and the screens popping off and the same old boring design, you decided you were going to skip that and get the iPhone X. But wait, the iPhone X delays are happening and you're not going to get one until the first quarter of next year. So what do you do? So you went out and you did the smart thing and you picked yourself up a Galaxy Note 8. Good choice. Very good choice. But with that, there are a few things that you're missing. What happened to the pop-up notifications I used to get on my iPhone? What's all this customization I can now do with this phone? So I'm going to give you three things that you can do with your Galaxy Note 8 to help ease the transition from your iPhone 7 to Android. This is a whole new world for you guys. You got something new, something different. And with that, you should take full advantage of it. First, I'll tell you that Samsung has hundreds upon hundreds of themes that you can choose from right on the phone. You should start there and pick one that best represents your personality and who you are. After all, you want to take full advantage of customizing your new phone. The one I went with has gears and a zipper kind of looking opening to it, which I love. When I get a notification, it pops open and there's gears moving, which is kind of awesome. It's different and as soon as people see it pop on, I often get asked, hey, what's that? It is awesome. I love the way it looks and you should go and find the one that best suits you. The next thing you want to do is install something called glimpse notifications. Now, if you had an iPhone, then you're already used to seeing a pop-up when you get a notification, so you can read what it's all about. The pop-up notification is not native to this phone, okay? That's something that I had to go and research and find and add. So if you go into the Google Play Store, there's something called glimpse notifications. I don't know if you can see that because the screen's a little dark. But glimpse notifications, choose that, open. What this app will do is if you're used to having an iPhone 7, you're used to having the notifications pop up on your home screen. So you could do a quick read and move on. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 does not come with that, native. The only thing that pops up on the screen is an icon showing you what notification you missed. If you want to peek at the notification so you can read it, then you have to install Glimpse Notification. Now once that's installed, you have options. If you enable pocket mode, it will protect the phone from going on while it's in a dark place like in your pocket. So the second you pull it out of your pocket, then the notifications will start popping up on your screen again. If you click on here, lock screen, you'll get all of these options. Customize lock screen display time. Once you install Glimpse notification, you can then start receiving the same notifications that you were receiving when you had your iPhone. And lastly, I would recommend installing the G board. This is the G board, the Google keyboard. I like the G board one because it has a lot more themes. It added a lot more themes and I'll show you where to go see that. The app G board. And here are all of your options for the Gboard. It has multilingual support. It has additional themes that you can add or download. It has much better text correction, in my opinion, than the Samsung keyboard that's native to this phone. And that's why I go to it. It allows glide typing, voice typing, and what they've even done is they've added a little Google search right in the corner, which is pretty awesome if you hit weather you'll get all these icons at the bottom that you can then choose and get what you're looking for. It's excellent at predictive typing. And as an option, you can add the symbols right to the keys. And with a long press, you can get that symbol. All of that makes for an awesome keyboard that I really enjoy typing on. 
And once you get the hang of swipe typing, it really is difficult to go back to typing normally on a keyboard. This is what makes it difficult for anyone to go from an Android keyboard back to an iOS keyboard because once you start swipe typing, it's so much faster and the predictive technology on the keyboard is absolutely incredible what they're doing with it these days. So I just wanted to give you those three things that could help ease the transition from an iPhone over to your new Galaxy Note 8. Congratulations on your new phone. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping my next video, and I'll see you all at the next episode.